If you're getting gummed up in a passage, what I like to call a case of the spaghetti fingers, spend some time experimenting with lifting fingers. Leaving fingers down can sometimes be more efficient, especially if you're going right back to a note or in a scale. But generally, lifting or rolling off the fingers as you go can make your fingers more independent, which is great for fast playing. It's all about finding what gets you ready for the next few notes that are coming up. Let's look at an example. Um, just the, the beginning of this. Right, let's just see what we could do there. So in the beginning of this bar, we could, it, you know, it's a scale essentially. Human nature might be to just keep adding fingers. And leave these fingers down. If I do that completely, I probably will not be quite ready for the B flat. So the kind of leaving down version is and clear when I have to. The lifting version of that would be that I start to roll off the fingers as I go. So by the time I'm at the G, I've already lifted one and two. That's an example of that. Let's look at another example. This one might be a little bit less obvious. We're going to go to the end of the concerto again and look at the last two beats of the, an excerpt that I already played for you. This one, uh, which involves third position and extension. All right, so in those last two beats, we're in third position. We've got an extension coming up. There are two ways to do it. One is leave the first finger down once it's played. Leave it down. This makes it more likely that when you get back to one, the D, it's in tune. The other option, just because it is an extension and it's farther to reach, is you could lift. I'm still trying to stay over it, but I just released a little bit so I could get a better grip. Now what you do is really, uh, it's a it's a personal preference. What I would do in this particular spot, actually, since I tried this out last night, is that I don't totally lift one, but I kind of lighten it so it almost feels like a harmonic in my hand. How do I know that? Just trial and error. The decision to lift or leave fingers down is unique. There are no hard rules. It's just a question of context and what works better for you. So experiment and find out if any of your lifting or leaving tendencies are getting in your way.